minutes, but here in studio, what a pleasure, what an honor. We are talking about getting out the vote today, and we are really, really honored with the presence today of retired astronaut and Navy Captain Mark Kelly, who is here trying to get votes drummed up for tomorrow. Absolutely. Of course, as we know, tomorrow is such a huge day. Mark, it is so wonderful to have you here in studio joining us for 12 News. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karen. So, all oh, right. Many people obviously are projecting that we will be having a record turnout for the midterm elections. You know, now more than ever, the nation seems so divisive. You've got celebrities jumping in the fray at the last minute, pushing for their favorite candidates. And also, we know that you have been getting out the vote a lot lately. You've been traveling more than ever, traveling to at least 15 states. Why does it seem as though it is so important to vote now more than ever? Well, I mean, there's a lot of partisanship. I think there are a lot of people that have been unhappy with the direction of the country over the last two years. There are also people that are very happy with it. So, uh, you know, on both sides, you have some very strong feelings. So Gabby and I have been traveling uh, across the country to get people out to vote for the candidates that we would like to see elected. And those are the candidates that will do a, a number of different things, but, you know, primarily uh, stand up for stronger gun laws and policies that protect people and communities from, from gun violence. Why do, you, why do you think, Mark, the gun issue has been so divisive. Is, is it money from the NRA? Is it our sensibility as a, as a country? What is it that makes it such a, because statistically, there's, there's no denying that this is a problem. Right, and currently 67%, according to a new Gallup poll, 67% of voters would like to see some stronger gun laws. But for decades, we've had the National Rifle Association do a very good job controlling this issue. They've spent a lot of money to get certain people elected to Congress and to state legislatures and to governor man governor's mansions, and they've they've done a really good job with not a lot of opposition. And because of that, we've have, we have very weak gun laws in a lot of different places. And what that means is more people die from gun violence. And and, and to be clear, you're talking about what, what you and and Gabby push for is is common sense reform. I'm not taking anyone's guns away, but, but just common sense things that will make it tougher for someone who is uh, mentally ill, has a history of violence, to get their hands legally on a weapon. Right. So I'm, I, I served in the Navy for 25 years. I've been a gun owner my entire adult life. I'm a strong supporter of the Second Amendment. But at the same time, we've been really dumb about this. I mean, across the board, across the country, especially federally, we make it very easy for people like domestic abusers and convicted felons and people who are dangerously mentally ill to get firearms. We shouldn't do that. Universal background checks is an example. That's something that's supported by over 80% of Americans. So these common sense things will protect people from getting shot, and shot and killed, protect their families, but at the same time not, not really interfere with people's Second Amendment rights, as long as you're a responsible gun owner. And we should also mention, too, that the new organization that you had started recently after the Newtown mass shooting back in 2012, you called it the Americans for Responsible Solutions. It is now called Giffords. Yes. Because it's a lot easier to remember, a lot obviously. Easier. And a lot of Democrats across the board nationally, they have made gun safety obviously a huge priority in their campaigns. Speaking of the Democrats, the Washington Post called you Arizona Democrats dream candidate. In fact, more than 3,000 people signed an online petition urging you to run in 2018. I know you get this question a lot, but for the record, if you're not running now, do you think possibly in the future you will finish what your wife unfortunately was not able to? Well, so Gabby, Gabby served in the House. Certainly, I think Gabby would have been a U.S. Senator today had, had she not been injured. Uh, our Senator Jeff Flake said, uh, you know, talked about that at some point, you know, made a pretty funny comment about it. Um, yeah, I, you know, I feel like Gabby and I are serving our country right now. We're, we're trying to help pass some stronger policies uh, on an issue that we care very much about. You know, I, I do care about other issues as well as, as an astronaut. 
you know, you, you get an opportunity to see this planet from orbit. Uh, the environment is a big thing to me. And we have not done a good job, especially in the last two years, addressing our environmental issues. So there are things that are really important to me, but I think Gabby and I are, uh, we're, you know, meeting our objectives right now. Um, I don't want to be like elusive. I mean, I, you know, it's something I, I certainly haven't dismissed that maybe I would be interested in doing in the future. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow, we've got an election. <laughs> I voted early. I want other people to, if they can still vote today, to, to vote today. If not, make sure you get there before the polling place is closed tomorrow. We've got a concert mm -hmm. to encourage people to vote tonight at the Van Buren with uh, the Gin Blossoms and Calexico. Uh, our good friends from Tucson, uh, Gabby and I, we really uh, love that band. Uh, so people come out to uh, the Van Buren tonight. But uh, but more importantly than that, vote tomorrow. Uh, Mark, there's been a lot of talk about this this blue wave, and and some right. some diminish the the notion that that could happen. Some believe it could happen. You're a Democrat. I'm an independent. Are I'm you registered independent? Okay, yeah. registered independent. Yeah. Your wife's obviously a Democrat. A, a Democrat. Yeah. What what do you think is going to happen tomorrow? I don't know. You know, one of the things that's, that's interesting about polling, right? From two years ago, we know we can get polling really wrong. The challenge that they have right now is when you're looking at the demographics of who you think is going to vote, like which, you know, which groups of people. If you have s suddenly s uh, a certain group of people show up at a much higher rate, like young people, it makes the polling really difficult. I think there's a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, uh, we've we've seen it across the country. Uh, we've already surpassed early voting uh, going up to Election Day. We surpassed it days before Election Day in a lot of different states. So, so, so in some places, they've already had more people vote than, they, than we saw uh, four years ago. So there's a lot of enthusiasm out there, but it's hard to figure this out. I mean, we're not going to really know until, until tomorrow night. Yeah, no kidding. We have to ask, how is Gabby doing? She is doing uh, really well. Uh, she's really looking forward to tomorrow. For somebody like her, this is like the Super Bowl. <laughs> I mean, for me, the Super Bowl is a Super Bowl, but I'm really interested in, in what happens tomorrow night. But she'll be, she'll be glued to uh, the TV and, uh, you know, digitally, all the websites that she'll follow tomorrow night. Uh, so she's really excited. All right. Well, well, so good to see you. And I really appreciate your stepping by here for a couple of minutes just to... Uh, Give us your thoughts on, on some of the issues that we're all following so closely. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me on. Come Thank back you. anytime. Yeah. Thank you. All Appreciate right. it. Thank you so much. Yeah, when you announce, you. come back here. <laughs> <laughs>